Hello, it's uh, Alex from Edible Fly, and we're going to talk today about Tara TL65 B44 small electric retractable landing gear, which you can buy from uh, Banggood for around right about 45 Australian dollars. And uh, that's what it looks like. We put it all together, and uh, uh, we're going to test today uh, an automatic uh, gear retracting setup. What you need to add to this uh, kit is a Y uh, servo cable, which you can see here. So basically it joins both servos together. And we're going to use it with um, uh, the DJI F550 frame, uh, which is a hexacopter. So we're using a little Arduino sonar, which is the SRO4 uh, sonar. It is uh, uh, all cheap stuff, so you can buy, uh, you can buy it online. Ebay and other websites for something uh, like two dollars each or maybe cheaper and uh, there's also Arduino Mini Pro you can buy these uh, either original ones or clones from all sorts of websites from uh, about three to fifteen dollars depends where you buy it and uh, on the quality what I've done I've basically used uh, a code that I found online as a base but I didn't like a couple of things about it. Uh, well, first of all, uh, the sensor or the sonar itself is not particularly uh, consistent in its uh, feedback to the board. Well, I've uh, adjusted the code a bit so that um, uh, it compensates, uh, uh, well, basically retracts um, the gear only after a consistent signal is received. The 5 volt Ubeck that feeds the board and the sonar. And uh, uh, well, at the moment it's set to 50 centimeters, so it's um, uh, obviously you can set it to up to 4 meters because that's about the uh, limit of the range of these sonars. Well, 4 meters should be more than enough for retractable gear for any uh, multicopter. So the LED will indicate uh, whenever the object is within 50 centimeters. And uh, what I'm going to demonstrate here as well, that only after several uh, signals are received by the controller that the object is within the range, the, um, uh, the gear will react. And uh, on the opposite, uh, the gear won't retract uh, unless several consistent signals are uh, missing from the sonar range. I'll move my hand. So you can see uh, the LED is on and uh, uh, the landing gear is down. You can see that uh, the board receives interruptions in signal from time to time because the LED goes off, but the code is capable to compensate for that and it doesn't retract the gear. Only after the ground is removed for a time long enough, which means that the quadcopter or hexacopter has taken off into the air, the landing gear will retract. So I'm removing the ground. So the ground's moving around and creating all sorts of missed readings on, on the sensor, but uh, the gear remains in the landing position. Just pause is a nice feature to have.